Hello! <laughs> I hope you have been well. A while ago, I had an interview with the winemaker of Leopard Sleep, Eugene, and it was an incredibly insightful um, interview, mainly because for the longest time, I actually didn't know that normal wine was not vegan. And I suspect a lot of people are still laboring under the assumption that normal wine is vegan. Now this video is very interesting because we have an expert tell us the differences between vegan and non-vegan wine and what exactly it is that makes non-vegan wine non-vegan. The other exciting thing is that in this video Eugene explains to us why Leopard Sleep has chosen to de-alkalize the Natura wines. But What's even more interesting than that is the fact that he explains to us the process of de-alkalizing wine, which is quite fascinating. Apart from explaining the very exciting benefits of drinking de-alkalized wine in relation to weight loss, Eugene also explains to us the differences between a de-alkalized wine and a normal juice. Because I actually had a friend ask me that question. Why buy a de-alkalized wine if I can just get a normal juice? These are all very interesting questions and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the video as much as we enjoyed making it. Hello, Nonu. I'm going to go back uh, in the history of winemaking and traditionally uh, for us to soften wines or remove tannins and to clarify wines we used fining agents and in the older days they were all uh, uh, derived from animal products and you won't believe what was used in the old days even things like ox blood was used uh, then uh, gelatine that was used cooked from uh, bones of animals uh, even uh, a fish uh, 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 products that they used and then from milk and egg and I mean there's still a traditionally uh, in France uh, of the older sellers that uh, to keep in tradition they use one egg white per barrel to clarify it reacts with the tannins to make it softer and it also clarifies the wine so that was uh, the traditional older side of wine but as we've moved on and people became more conscious of animal products and now especially vegans uh, we have moved away from all those products and we now for instance uh, the finding agents we use are uh, from uh, vegetables uh, and especially peas it's a pea protein that we use now to clarify our wines and and soften it Finding it's a, it's a, actually a combination term, if I can put it like that. It uh, does two actions. It it reacts with the tannins. You know the harshness that we find in wines. The same as you find in tea, the tannin uh, that we want to soften it a bit, and it helps to clarify. So when we start with the wine making, it's it's quite murky. Mm. And before bottling, and uh, of course we've got to uh, present a product to the consumer that is absolutely brilliantly clear they won't be happy with a, although it can be more natural uh, with a bit of a cloudiness or haziness these filing agents uh, help uh, to settle all the particles down at the bottom so you can draw off the wine and uh, get it uh, clear in that manner it actually started uh, about a, a year or so ago there's a trend right through the world uh, for people to opt out from alcohol mm -hmm. um, for various reasons uh, there's many reasons you can have a like a night off uh, uh, from drinking wine or you can uh, take uh, the safe option you're at a party and you just don't feel like uh, consuming alcohol but you still want to feel part of the crowd uh, for health reasons you want to cut down on your alcohol various uh, reasons that we found with our studies uh, that uh, people are trending towards wines 
uh, or products uh, with low or uh, non-alcoholic. Uh, we decided to venture in this market after uh, uh, a lot of market research and uh, found that there's quite a, a need in our market uh, for the alkalized wine and we're going to call it the elk for short it's just easier on the on the tongue and uh, we went forward and uh, started looking at this product it was quite a challenge i must admit uh, i've been in the wine industry for 50 years making wines with alcohol and now to have a wine without alcohol because that's the basis of a of of a wine and now suddenly you've got to present a product that must taste the same look the same feel the same without alcohol and uh, but it was a very interesting journey and uh, we learned a lot it is quite popular overseas i think they have uh, they are, are well advanced in the markets there already and uh, but we are quick to follow and uh, especially leopard sleep we like to be trendy and uh, be on the market with new stuff but i think uh, there's there's a definite need for a product like this at the moment We have decided to start a new range. It's under the Leopard Sleep uh, logo, but it's called Natura. More being natural. And uh, we have two uh, products at the moment, a red wine and a, and a, and a, a red de elk and a white de elk. Uh, the red is a Cabernet Senso and the white is a Chenin Blanc Muscat. And I'm just gonna quickly explain how it works. Uh, we get the wine and you make it in the absolutely same manner as a normal uh, alcoholic wine and then at the end we decide then we remove the alcohol through a process called spinning cone now what this does uh, I mean uh, for a simple uh, uh, I'm just going to do a, s a simple physics explanation to you. If you boil water down at the coast, it will uh, boil at, say, 100 degrees Celsius. And if you travel up Mount Everest, that's 8,500 meters, you'll find that the water will probably boil at 75 degrees Celsius. So the less air pressure you have, uh, the lower the boiling point. So what we've done, this process is then done under a complete vacuum. So it has uh, actually a minus uh, atmospheric pressure. And then you can get the alcohol to boil off at 30 degrees Celsius. So you don't get any damaging uh, of, the, uh, of the product. And what's interesting, uh, at 28 degrees Celsius, the fine odors uh, uh, evaporate first, so we catch them and put them one side, and then the alcohol is removed. And then we slowly uh, uh, blend back uh, uh, the odorous substances back into the product to keep everything as natural as possible. The basis that we use uh, is derived from a, a real good, well-made wine. Uh, for all the other products, they press uh, apples and just use the juice that they uh, uh, then break down and freeze and, and add stuff with it. And same as the other. Our product is genuinely made out of a, a wine, so it has a wine basis. And gone through all the, the normal procedures to make a good wine. The grapes are uh, selected, harvested at the right uh, uh, ripeness, uh, cooled down and uh, pressed and juiced, clarifications, fermentations, everything done fine. And then we select wines for certain properties uh, for uh, the de elk Natura. Uh, the tannins, we like to be a bit softer. We like a certain uh, uh, type of flavor profile in the wine. And then we de elk that wine, as I explained, and that is the product that we use. So it's essentially, it has a wine basis. It's also packaged like a wine. It looks like a wine. And I think that is the main difference between our D Elk wine, Natura, and uh, all the other products, yeah. Uh, your first experience with this wine uh, might be an interesting experience. Uh, I think it's a similar experience to when you 
are exposed to sushi for the first time and you're not used to it. Uh, the flavors might uh, taste a bit foreign, but uh, the more you taste it, the more you fall in love with it. And it's a similar experience with Natura. Uh, because the alcohol has been removed, it has a slight variation to, to a normal wine. And uh, so I think it's always, I find it very interesting to, to watch the reactions uh, for the first taste. And then uh, people say, mm, oh, oh, I didn't expect this. But the more you taste it, the more you like it. I found that uh, right through all our uh, uh, tests that we did with people and experiments. And some people, actually most of them fall in love with it immediately. Other people get used to it. Uh, to taste in our household when I put it out to my wife the first time she told me this is not wine and I said but remember the alcohol's removed and then she got used to it and now it's one of her favorite drinks uh, another advantage of Natura of course is uh, that uh, for dieting uh, ladies and men that it only has a tenth of the, the kilojoules if you compare it with a glass of wine. Uh, so the added benefit, if you want to diet, you can do it on a chura. <laughs> it has that advantage. Cheers. Cheers. Lovely this is to definitely have you. my favorite. Thank oh, you. Oh, fantastic.